For now, Africa has been spared by a major outbreak of the disease. So far, there have been just 12 confirmed cases. That's in Egypt, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, Nigeria and Senegal. But is this because the disease has not spread or because it has not been detected? That's the billion dollar question. The World Health Organization has warned that countries with poor healthcare systems may not be able to cope with an outbreak, with many in Africa being of particular concern. Screening has been introduced at most major African airports and border crossings. They're using mechanisms already established during the Ebola outbreak in West Africa from 2014 to 2016. When it comes to the new coronavirus, health officials know early detection is vital if an epidemic is to be avoided. Uh, even the, even the air, airlines, normally if somebody's having a flu and cough, they always inform us and we pick them from the aircraft. But all the samples we've taken from them, they're all negative. Um, so as we talk in Uganda, we still don't have anybody with coronavirus. In Senegal, which has so far reported two confirmed cases, people are buying up sanitizers and masks. Some pharmacists say they're running short already. There's a certain panic, which, even though it doesn't look too serious for now, seems to be increasing. Airlines from many African countries have suspended flights to and from China. Now Kenya has also cancelled flights to and from northern Italy. Testing facilities on the continent have been increased, meaning by now most countries are able to test. The capacity of countries to address this outbreak has improved extremely in the last uh, few months while we've been working with countries. However, as medical workers across major cities are preparing isolation wards at hospitals, their concern remains. Most African healthcare systems do not have the capacity to deal with a large-scale outbreak of coronavirus. Now, let's go have a quick chat with Dr. Mary Stephen with the WHO Regional Office for Africa in Brazzaville, Republic of Congo. Hello, uh, Dr. Mary, M many thanks for your time. Now, Africa has recorded very few cases, but the international community is worried. Why? Okay, so um, as you are aware, the outbreak started uh, in China and uh, it has spread to different countries. And of course, Africa is also at risk because of the volume of travelers between Africa and all the affected areas. So the likelihood that there would be importation of cases into Africa is very high. And they might also be worried because um, of the fragility of the systems in Africa and also the population we have in Africa. But uh, just to reassure uh, the world that uh, we are enhancing our level of preparedness in Africa, so mm. we can dictate uh, the cases mm. and also respond appropriately. Okay, now still about 14 African countries do not have uh, testing equipment for coronavirus. That obviously is a challenge. How prepared are we? You are right. So we have uh, right now 34 countries that have the capacity to test. Um, and the, the remaining countries, uh, we are helping them to prepare and enhance their capacity uh, to confirm COVID-19. But for those that do not currently have the capacity for testing, uh, we are encouraging them to send, if they have a suspected case, to send their samples to their neighboring countries. Uh, and also they can send the samples to the reference laboratories in South Africa and uh, Institute Pasteur in Dakar. Mm. So in terms of preparedness, uh, at the beginning of the, the outbreak, we have uh, assessed the capacities of all uh, the 47 countries that fall under the WHO Regional Office for Africa. So we pretty much know the capacities that uh, the countries have. Okay. And uh, we are helping them to enhance capacities in places where they have some weaknesses. So we have uh, already deployed experts 
to some of these countries and they are helping them. We will repeat the assessment again to see how far they have progressed in terms of okay. addressing okay. Uh, okay. those areas. So clearly there's a lot going on. Okay, now, now let, let's get a bit practical here. A lot of people are panicking. We see that all the time. People are wearing face masks here and their hand sanitizers have run out. So, so, so give us three major points for individuals how they can uh, prevent themselves from contacting the virus. To prevent uh, uh, oneself from contacting the uh, coronavirus, uh, first of all, we talk about social distancing. So you stay one to two meters away, and uh, also regular hand washing with soap and water, or we use uh, hand sanitizers to make sure that our hands are clean. And also, if one is coughing, uh, the appropriate use of uh, uh, coughing etiquette. So cover your nose with tissue and properly dispose it afterwards or use the elbow to cough so that we prevent spread of uh, aerosols to people that are sitting around us. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to uh, wash my hands and use a hand sanitizer right after this interview. Is that okay? Yes, you are ready to go. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mary Steven with the WHO Regional Office for Africa in Brazzaville. Many thanks for your time.